Okay, idea five, a movie uh, for a Gang of Daggers franchise. Uh, so, hello Hollywood. Uh, I have a young adult movie involving action, fantasy, magic, sex, and high school. Uh, a Gang of Daggers. Uh, a tagline I'm using, Peter Pan meets Sopranos. Um, and I actually did think of a movie trailer for the Daggers like decades ago. Off the top of my head, you know, who is the audience that I'm going for? Uh, people who love action movies, people, you know, kung fu films, ninja and samurai movies, uh, people who like Ninja Warrior, uh, people who are into sports, history nerds, video gamers, teens, parents, uh, young adults, male and female, minority audiences, uh, international audiences. And I think a decent older audience would watch the film too. Uh, the movie I am selling, either a movie showing year one of the dagger coming into existence, or a movie set in year three, uh, following the charismatic leader leading 75 odd students on a military campaign where they wiped the floor with the enemy. Uh, so what's the difference? Budget and whether you want more of a chance of a second film being made. So, a year one film. Uh, members of the Dagger are a bunch of, you know, scrawny freshmen, high school students. Uh, one discovers a magical portal, shows his friends, and from there, the idea of what they can do uh, begins to form in their minds. Uh, the leader that emerges will be facing the unknown of this other world and the unknown of what he, of what he is doing. Uh, the first third of the movie will be exploring the portal with the juxtaposition of how the kids are treated on Adrena versus Earth. And remember, the Earth High School could be the worst high school in the U.S. with all sorts of bad people running around. Uh, the second third of the movie would be the dagger forming with a couple students, and the last third, a small military campaign they participate in. Four sets a city, a school, uh, location shots for an early Iron Age village surrounded by fields, likely something that could look like two or three different villages, you know, depending on how, what they create. Um, maybe a walled city. And then locations on dirt roads and forests. Uh, the battle could be small scale to keep the cast of extras to a minimum. A year three film, on the other hand, uh, the audience is introduced to the established world of the Dagger, along with a freshman recruit. Uh, the Dagger has a dojo on Earth, a manor on Andrina, uh, relations with the local lord, and is beginning a transportation business. They have a lot of magic knowledge and are beginning to explore creating clones. Uh, the manor is filled with young people from Andrina, same age as members of the Dagger, and these young people are poor, uneducated teens who are taught to read, write, and do math, uh, how to fight, and become employees for the business. The women are also potential love interests of the dagger. Uh, the dagger would have maybe six or more women by this point. The film would be broken down into the first third, uh, be a crash course on the, history, on the history of the dagger and the indoctrination of the recruit. The second third uh, the start of summer military campaign, uh, so random missions against enemy soldiers, uh, and potentially this leads to the last third being the harassment of an enemy army, you know, that's on the march, and resulting in a battle next to a fort. Uh, the enemy battle could be one army holding a square formation in a field with enemy forces attacking from all sides, and the dagger riding around on horses with friendly cavalry and attacking the enemy on foot. You know, the movie ends with the recruit becoming a seasoned sophomore and a new school, new school year is ready to begin. Uh, so, two different movies, uh, different budgets. You know, like uh, Defiance versus Harry Potter in terms of what you budget for with cast and special effects. I personally would want to see a series starting at the beginning. Uh, and I would hope that the first movie would be good enough to quickly launch the second and third movies. 
the second movie would show more of a range of the abilities of the dagger and be very dynamic with battles and tactics. And the third movie would show the dagger becoming established on Adrena, transitioning from transitioning from mercenaries to landed nobility. Uh, if the second movie proves successful, then create the fourth create the fourth movie. Uh, this would be an interesting transition movie since the cast from the first film would be present for the third, uh, first first third of the film, you know, fourth movie. Uh, then leave since their characters graduate from high school and they have money and either start college courses or do whatever. This also follows the struggles of the juniors since the protagonist announced how they will pick the next leader. Uh, the last two thirds of the movie would follow the new leader as they struggle with controlling the dagger and going on a military campaign. You know, Follow-up movies could be made that fall outside of the timeline of the first four years, which can give the actors a break from what would likely be challenging physical combat exercise, you know, every year. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. Um, the, I mean, a movie would be great. I wouldn't mind a movie. You know, it just, you know, I just think that for this show, and in terms of everything that could be presented in the show, I think a TV sh TV series would be best. But hey, I'll start with a movie.